Welcome to our channel and our trip to the Cape Town International Boat Show. He's Fernando. And that's Marlies. The main purpose of our trip was to learn about yachts, boats, how they work and their equipment. As we live inland, about 600 kilometers away from the closest ocean, we need to undertake such trips to physically see boats and what we think we are after. So we can't even call this a review, besides that there are enough reviews on many boats out there, including this one. This is rather our journey of learning about boats and seeing firsthand what exactly is involved with our newly found passion. This explains why certain items might not have been filmed and highlighted properly. So please comment and give feedback and tell us what you would like us to show next time we get such an opportunity. Show us the area of our ways. We like to be prepared, hence why the day before the show we went past the show's venue to see exactly where the show was being held and where to park, as we were sort of in a strange place that we hardly know our way around without Google Maps. As we got close to the venue, we kept walking and walked right into the venue. The marquee tent was up, however far from what it was on the day of the show. We just kept walking and eventually walked all the way to the docks. Where we walked and saw people on some of the boats that would be on display on the days of the show. Leading to the meeting of the friendly people of Royal Cape Catamarans who manufacture the majestic 530. They were willing to give us time to show us around, answer all our stupid questions and contribute to our sailing education. If this was in our current budget, one never knows what will happen as we work on our budget with our current plans to raise money to up the size of what we can currently afford. This would definitely put this boat amongst our favourites, just from the type of people that we dealt with on a day. Further, the Royal Cape Catamaran factory is in Durban, the closest port to our home in Johannesburg, about 600 kilometres. Meaning, we will visit the factory in the near future, as agreed to by Neil, who had the patience to show us around. So please enjoy our journey. So now, without any further delays, Let's move on to the first engine room, mechanical room as many like to call it. So this is the? the Majestic 530 Royal Cap. Okay. Um, this is one of our new designs. The engines were ran on this boat as a 75 Yanma. Okay. Um, times two of course, sail drafts. Um, oh, sail drafts, okay. All sail drafts, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good on fuel. Parts-wise, all around islands, you can get parts anywhere for them. Very good uh, service history with them. So, I mean, it's brilliant motors. Okay. Um, engine bays are nice to walk around in. Yes, so we're going to go climbing there now. So, uh, get full access to anything servicing on it. Yes. We've had a lot of guys say it uh, that produces uh, 200 litres per hour. Um, wow. So, yeah, it goes through a membrane system into the tanks. Uh, you can also swap it between the two tanks. You can either go on to port or starboard side, depending on what side you want to fill. Uh, we've got a full water transfer system as well. It transfers the system with a separate pump, and uh, yeah, it runs pretty good. What is that? That's your motor for your water maker. Um, the thing is about this hydraulic system, if you, let's say your one rail is out of, out of pitch, yeah. a little bit, like slightly yes, off, yes, yes. Side, all this and that. What you do is you turn it to a full lock out of port of solvent, depending what side you want to go to. Yeah. You bypass it. So now if you bypass these valves, it automatically just shoots through to one side from, of course, your hull and pump. Yeah. So it'll automatically shoot to one side. So when your one rudder is on a full lock to port, yeah. the other rudder will go to a full lock to, of course, port as well. So it'll balance it out. Then you just open this up again and your rudders are aligned 100%. Oh, you'll never get water coming through into the boat. What is that thing there? That's your uh, electric, electrical bolts pump. It's got a little float switch, so if okay. it does ever go in. It's our water? Yeah, our water. That's it. Oh, okay, there you go. So it was facing up. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, um, and That's all water. Yeah, water. Uh, it also transfers from the engine, so you don't, if you okay. on the engine, or you, you can use the heat, yeah. Okay. 
Dove compressor. We, yeah, we army. Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. Uh, Dove Does it come with it? Yeah. Full Dove compressor and yeah, fill up your cylinders. What is that little box here? Oh, this is your blender deck. Uh, fly by wire, uh, throttle response. Oh, okay, for the throttle. So, okay, let's get throttle. It's, it's no cables coming from the actual hull. It okay. sends a signal through and this controls your throttle. And you get your fresh water bath. This is your starter battery? Uh, yeah, starter battery. The other engine bay? Um, basically the same, it's just there you've got an extra feed uh, going towards your generator with the fuel pump. So an extra fuel pump. So because your generator is on the port side. On the port side, okay. Okay, so that fan is for? Uh, just coolant on the, of course, your generator and... To keep your generator room cool? Yeah. What is that there? Uh, that'll, basically your shore file will go in. Okay. And lock off here. If you get your port, you push yes. the button and it feeds the cable back out to your power thing. So if you're underway, okay. you don't need to roll up your cable, throw yes. it in somewhere. Automatically feeds in, goes into a bucket system. Okay, beautiful. So, oh, makes beautiful. life a bit simpler. Full drop size. Oh, bra? Yes, <laughs> and it's a bra, not a barbecue. Oh, uh, yeah, your dive cylinders. So your dive cylinders are nicely mounted up here. Where's your, I know some of the guys look at that very critically. Mm -hmm. Where is your life raft? Life raft, in the center of the boat in the front. Oh, okay, so, life raft here, yeah, old man life raft. Uh, easy to deploy, self-deploying life raft. Um, Okay, Neil, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What did you say to the guys who prefer the life raft at the back? Uh, we can do that. We, we, we do a lot of customization. So okay. We basically build to what the owner wants to spec. Um, if you want the life raft at the back, you can do that. Um, okay. So yeah, but we always prefer putting it in the front. It's always out the way. Um, and it's easy to get to if you do need to get to it. So, yeah. And these, these compartments? Oh, I see you've got your gas, your gas, gas uh, tanks there. Gas tanks, uh, we've got all of Can I work on your trampoline? Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, our holding tanks. Yes. For our toilet systems. So, yeah. Oh, that, that, that's that. And that tank there? Also holding for the other side. For? Also, also for the, what are they called, the heads, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me... Beautiful. The windlass? The windlass. Okay. okay. Like manual buttons. Let me, let me see well. if I can get the train lock in there. Um. Nice deep. And we also got a little pipe system here with the rinser. These are rope uh, blockers. A lot of storage, we put defenders in there. Basically everything. So yeah. It's quite deep, huh? Yeah. Got some steps. steps and all bags, and chips. And the other side? Other side, uh, that's more of also storage, mainly our fenders go in there. Okay. Um, and our, our mooring uh, lights, front seats. So the, 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 the front seats? Yeah. And then you got like a? Uh, this folds up, so you actually take the cushions, you can fold up and it goes up against the rail. Okay. Uh, out of way, so it's a little sun, sunbed. Top side legs are wide, with flush mounted hatches, solid rails instead of the usual stanchions and lifeline setup. For a start, giving one a sense of safety. Though from experience in other circumstances, it is a, safe, a safer setup. Handrails and grab rails also look sturdy and well placed. Nice big chain plate on it all the way down. Uh, this is, it's covered. What, what's this, a uh, normal steel cable? Uh, yes, normal steel cables are uh, pretty solid. So you get your David system? Yes. You can go up on each side to balance it out, yes, depending okay. on what side you need to go. And then you've got your anchor in the front which runs off of your windlass. Also on that? Can, yeah, also on that. Right, so nice. You can go in the front of the boat, see what the anchor is doing, let it out, let it in. So it's very, very nice. This is like your all-in-one. Multifunction. Mul Multifunction. Okay. Yeah. And if you lose it, you can still operate everything yes. else? Yes. We've got okay. manual buttons on it. We've got manual buttons on the davit as well. Okay, so you can have a nice party at the back here, a little table. Yeah, basically use it as a dive platform, you can launch your tender off of it. Um, yes. It does go around about knee deep into the water, so it's easy enough to load the tender. You can even do it on the way. And you can store your tender on here, you don't yeah. need davits. Uh, yeah, you got your two chocks coming up, on chocks do set to any tender. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it's very easy to launch and load, eh? So, maximum, maximum capacity? Uh, about a ton and a half. 
Ten and a half. Wow. Uh, wow. Full aluminium frames, braces. Uh, uses Spectra cable. Uh, we've done double purchase two on the system. So it takes a load off and also slows down the speed and makes it easier to control. Okay. Hi. Uh, all Ray Marine stuff? All Ray Marine. Uh, bow thruster. Uh, the bow thruster on the kit? Okay. Electrical traveller, so you can actually move your boom over. Okay. Click of a button. Uh, we've rigged up the system pretty well. If you want to do a tack over from your uh, Genoa in the front, yes. you can actually control the whole port side over to the starboard Beautiful. side. So, and if you want to change that out, you just run it back to the front block thing. You run it off the left side. Oh, this winch is electrical? Okay. All electrical. Okay. So, here's a full pantry inside here. Yeah. So, yes. Very cool. Nice okay, for all your food and everything. So, yeah, full pantry. So, that's your sump for your uh, bolt. Then you get the main cabin. Um, and then, big, nice island bed on the top here. Salt water, fresh water, you got to touch your boat. Yeah, you can change the salt water fresh. There's more than enough light coming in there. A little opening hatch window. Windows. Okay. Port lights, there is a nice mm -hmm. port light. There you go. Uh, is there any curtains or anything like that or uh, shades? On this cabin, yes, you do have a clip on the curtain. Okay, so from here. And the stack of wood. Wow. This is a uh, king? Uh, or queen? Uh, this is a queen. A queen. Almost the island, but you got slight. You got a little bit of space. So a nice storage space yes. and yes. a little other side of the bike. This is your? Uh, aft cabin. Aft cabin? So aft, yes. So So this is a? Wow, look at this, look at this. Steps are easy. Steps. I've seen some uh, boats with some horrible steps, these are easy. And we're back into the saloon. Right, let me swing around so we can uh, listen to Neil. So this is your normal coffee table now, as you can see, you can sit around have a cup of coffee. If you need to have more space for more people, you turn, turn the table, flip the sides out. How many people can you sit here? Uh, you see one, two, three, four, about six people on it. Easy. Eight, maybe? Eight and a push. Skinny people. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's a coffee machine there on top. Uh, just below that, there's a wine cooler. Okay. And just past the table where you're eating. And you're out of wine, you're never too far for a little bit more wine. Look at that. That's next nice stunning. Look at that. Beautiful. Would you like to tell us about the uh, electrical yes. panel? So there's a TV on top. TV, uh, you've got your USB ports, your iridium go on the side here. Okay. Um, your control panel for all your electricity. So it'll basically tell you where the power is coming okay. from. Okay. So it's got a Victron system there? Yeah, so we okay. at the moment on shore power going through to our float, our load, batteries, DC, the, the solar panels are pulling out at the moment, so charging as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, 
it's easy to control. Okay, the panel? Uh, that system is also linked up with Wi-Fi, so you can control it anywhere on the world okay. computer. Anywhere around the boat? Yeah, you can control your motors, your power surges, your basically everything via Wi-Fi on this boat. Panel looks impressive. So yeah, panel easy, you get your 230 uh, panel, you get your 12 and 24 volt circuit panels there with all breakers. Your generator, motor, uh, motor starts. Your bulge pumps, what's nice is you can do an override on all if you need to. It tells you basically everything here, you get your high water alarms. It's really nice. And then your solar panels, house batteries, fixed solar. So what's, yeah. missing, what's missing in the whole thing? Oh, uh, alternator, we were waiting for that panel to, to come in. And for the gauge? Yeah, that's still in okay. Town, yeah, so we'll, okay. we'll fit it most probably tomorrow. Of course, a lot of storage, thousand forks. Okay, yes, this is very neat, huh? Your, your forks, your pots and pans. Okay. Underneath that table is a chest freezer outside in the sit in the cockpit. Ice maker. Right, is it is an ice maker? Yeah. Oh perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, that's a chest freezer. What brand is this? This is the uh, familiar. National Lumo. Okay. Use French. Full. Okay, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Might as well be full. Uh, let's just see. Oh, then wash and dry. Wash and dry. Great. Right. Uh, open the van? Okay. There you go. Okay. Then, of course, some regional microwave and oven. You can cook off basically anything in it. You get top. So, yeah. Okay. And what is what is this indication here? What is this? Uh, that's your gas control. So you can okay. switch off your valve. It's got sensors right through. That is your alcohol cabinet. Oh. Oh. You pack it in here. With a mirror. So you can't you can't yes. lift the but you can't lift on this for yes. so air con unit. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, sir. And that's that air con unit. That air con unit will control both of the off cabins and the saloon. The two forward cameras have their own. Yeah, this is your port side off camera. Look at that. Look at that. The huge generator is tucked away under the bed and just above to the right hand corner of the screen to the rear of the generator we can see the cooling fan that we saw from the other side in the engine room. That's a beautiful artwork of that. Now walking to the port side, to uh, port side. Port oh. looks interesting. Okay. Office. Office. So this is the econ unit for the smaller rooms. For yeah, the, for the two, well, for the ones each each forward cabin will have its own. Um, uh, so there's actually then three econ units in the boat. Okay. Our storage on this boat is absolutely amazing. Yes, it does. Everything. So I can't believe it. So there's a tank inside. Yeah. Water tank, what do you think? Water tank. Okay. So this is a lost head we will see. Right above me. This is your emergency hatch. So, while you're having a shower, you can actually watch the dolphins come by, some seals, depending where you're on the world. This could be very interesting. This could be an amazing shower. Well, I work for Royal Cap Cap Marangs. Mm. Um, they're based in Durban, building these beautiful mm. 54 and 57 caps. Okay. 54. 
And uh, yeah, we're based in Westmead, 100 Goodwood Road, Westmead. Uh, the owners to contact if you do need to contact them is Ken and James. Uh, Ken Bircher and James Holgate. Um, and is then of course our company number is 031-705-5165. Uh, is there a phone number? Yes. South Africa, plus 27? Uh, plus 27, that would be James's number if you need to contact them. It would be 072 622-4099 Is it email at least? Email, yes, uh, logistic at iafrica.com okay. we- Website? Uh, Websites www.rcc.com So these guys are in Durban? Yes You live really close to this video? I want to come see your face 100% It looks very nice, eh? This is very nice That's okay no, I think this is very nice This is very nice can we have a look for the on your price for this one? Can we look further? Can we look further? Sorry? Can we look further? Well, I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's um, here for the show, so. Yes, mind you, yes. So this I is very nice. Huh? Got nothing to hide, except the two Russians I got stuck in the cupboard. <laughs> uh, are they are they dead or no? Blonde? They're naked. Wait for me to turn up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I'm going down first. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, your ipo? Was it ipo? No, oh, no, that's just a normal light ring with your um, your lights. Men of the board.